Hey you people of the interwebs, I've seen a lot of these draw my life videos so I thought I would make one. Uh, my name's Aiden Talia Brown, I live in Sydney, Australia and I was born on the 6th of March 1998. I know most people are saying that's not that old but I think my story is pretty interesting. When I was born my family consisted of my parents and my brother who was two years older than me, whose name was Leon. We were living on our own for a while, but it became hard for our parents to take care of us. So shortly after I was born, my family moved in with my mum's parents, where she used to live. My mum was born in England, as well as her little sister. Their little brother was born here in Australia. My dad was born in Sydney, and my brother and I were born in a local hospital. My mum has always worked with airlines, so we've always gotten to go to amazing places. When I was only two years old, I went to America, Canada, England, and so many other awesome places. I've gone to America seven times. In 2000, 2002, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2011, and 2012. And someday I hope to live there. We used to um, go to fancy dinners all the time at this hotel called the Novotel. When I was little, my brother and I loved watching Pokemon, Digimon, Dragon Ball Z, Rugrats, Kim Possible, and all sorts of other cool shows. We also played on the PlayStation 2 we got as a Christmas present one year, all the time. As well as collecting Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and playing with our Tamagotchis. My brother and I were so close. When I was in preschool, he would always get my dad to record High Five on a video tape because I loved it so much and I was upset I would miss it. His birthday was on the 9th of March, so I would always say that I'm older because my birthday was before his. When I started primary school, I only really had one friend. I was friendly to others as they were to me, but no one ever wanted to hang out with us. My brother was always there for me. Whenever I was hurt at school, he would come running. I remember one time I hit my head on concrete and I passed out. And when I opened my eyes, he was kneeling over me crying, hoping I was all right. And as I grew older, I started experiencing more and more bullying. 2006 was probably my favourite year in primary school. I went to America for my birthday. I was doing really well with my schoolwork and it's also the year I got my first camera. It was a Canon and I fell in love with it. I took photos and videos wherever I went. 2008 is when things started to go downhill. My best friend wanted to hang out with other people and was leaving me out. My mum also got admitted into hospital that year. It was only meant to be three days, but it turned into six weeks. She had symptoms of so many different problems, and to this day, no one can figure out what's wrong with her. Five years later. I was only really hanging out with boys at school because this year, they were really the only ones that were nice to me. Around 2006 to 2008, my auntie was diagnosed with chronic kidney failure and she had to start dialysis immediately. 2009 was the year that changed my life forever. On the 16th of January, my brother was diagnosed with high-risk leukemia, which is a blood cancer. This pretty much destroyed everything because no one ever expects this to happen to them. He never went to school after that. As that was happening, the bullying at school increased. I had a really mean teacher and I had no real friends most of the time, so I talked to teachers all day. I was getting death threats and people telling me to kill myself when I was only 10 years old. Sometimes I almost listened to them. Things started to look up towards the end of the year. I found new friends and people who were caring instead of using me, and my brother was getting better. I came first place in my round in the talent quest and third in the finals seeing Demi Lovato. Demi, Selena and the Jonas Brothers were what kept me strong at that time. 
Now Demi is still a major inspiration to me and reminds me to keep strong. At the end of year six, I almost felt popular for the first time in my life. Then I started freaking out because I was starting high school the next year. Most of the year was great, my teachers were great, and I had so many new friends. And on the 5th of July, I donated bone marrow to help save my brother's life. Now, towards the end of the year, things started to get worse again. My closest friend was moving schools. Another day soon after that, I found out my brother had gone into a coma and they didn't know he was going to be okay. I was so sad and depressed at this time, but I still tried to stay positive. Around 2 a.m. on the 25th of November, my brother's heart stopped completely. That was it. The person I trusted most in the world was gone. The only person that believed in me was gone. And it felt like it was my fault after I tried so hard to save him. I still failed. Life went on and on Christmas that year I got a guitar. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I started eighth grade and some of my close friends started to turn on me. While this was happening, one girl I barely knew was there with me the whole time. Her name was Brittany. She was like my savior. <laughs> More and more bullying went on and I decided to block those people out of my life and try to make things better for myself. That year I started to play WoW and I also discovered amazing people like Joey Graceffa, Lita Monster Bunny, Strawberry17 and so many others. In April, the three of us went on a Disney cruise. That was meant to be my brother's make-a-wish but they backed out so an amazing friend of my mom's paid over $2,000 for us to go. 2012 has been my best year in a long time. I got to do drama and design and photography as elective subjects. I became a lot closer with my friends like Luke, Bailey, Nicole, Tegan, Amelia, Anna, Rasha, Sandra, Jade, Angelica, Lara, Rahan, Joey, Caitlin, Joanna, Josie, April, Katie, Emma, Selena, Lucas, and Webb, and I had the opportunity to meet so many other people I never had the chance to, and I was starting to feel happy again. 2012 was also the year I discovered the artist my genuine find, and I hate that I didn't find him earlier. I love his music, and really, he's one of the biggest inspirations I have in my life, and he always keeps me strong. What really struck me was when I found out that Brittany had to change schools. I was really heartbroken and I was just lost. When she was gone, I started getting bullied again and all I needed was her. After a few months, she told me that she was coming back and I was really excited. She's my anime and video game buddy and she's one of my inspirations too. Things sorted themselves out and towards the end of the year, I was the happiest I've ever been and as long as I can remember. I got to go to the LA at the end of the year, which was the best thing since it was completely unsuspected. I started this channel in 2008, and really it's one of the best things I've ever done. Over the years, I've grown such a huge passion for making videos, and I've worked so hard on every single one. I'm not a big YouTuber or anything, but this is what I love to do. This year, I'm trying my best to stay happy and help others. Just remember, no matter how difficult and hopeless things may seem, if you put the effort in, things will get better. Never give up on your dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.